Hello, everyone is watching this, and we're back in action again. Breaking into the actual soundtrack albums, and today we're going through from Addison to Burn, hopefully, and hopefully it won't take us. Hopefully this won't be a, a massively long one. Okay, so. As you can see, they're all kind of like that. I've, and I don't know how you store yours, but I prefer to keep mine alphabetically according to Composer. So... So starting off we've got um this um span this Spanish cassette release pairing um putting putting putting, putting John Addison's Tom Jones and Andre Previn's Irma La Douche this this together. Yeah. I'm trying to find the actual name of the label. I got some tie here somewhere. Ah, oh, yeah. Belter is the label. Got these two Santa albums were. Here to get everyone. I do have some other Addisons, but they're the 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 um CDs or in the case of Swashbuckler, I also bought that that um literally as well. B is for Andre Balerenti with Blue Velvet. I'm not really a big, a big Andrew Badlerenti fan, so maybe that's why I haven't bought bought the two CD set yet. But yeah, I might change my mind. Uh, now in the, in the UK, um, he he his his music for um, Nightmare Nightmare on Elm Street Five: Dream Warriors. Well, it's inspired from where, from where it's a chart topper, bring the do your doors to the slaughter came from. <laughs> yes, I think, I think I recall, I think I recall, it actually, I think it was a like number one in the UK. Anyway. Anyway, but anyway, this got put out on TR, on Entertainment Records in the UK. See the thing at work on the very side of Banner. And then, and this is also something I'm not that familiar with. Look at this. But I do really like this one of Andrew Badlamenti's. This lovely music that we did for this, um, Rented Comedy of Ted Danson and, um, gosh, I can't remember who it was. Yes, anyway, anyway, anyway this, is, this, is, this is a hunting down thing, that's it. I, want to, I do want to get the CD version as well. On the other hand, this is basically a compilation. So I got it in here because um it's got because Tony Banks scored with the instrumental scoring and it does have a track on this as does Thomas Newman. He's he's called Sweet Street, so that's S U I T E Streets. Over and over, and over and only I can really remember remember from this is um 
is Quick Silver Lightning. Laundry Dolce song. That's what. Anyway. Anyway, that was the only thing I remember from the film, apart from the fact it was extremely boring. It, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't very good. <laughs> I had to wait for, for, for just Gabba to come along to do an interesting thing about bike messengers. Since, since, since not my mood is, if, if, if a song has any um, score representation on it, even if it's only one track, when it gets included in the soundtrack section. Now, this, I think, doesn't need, doesn't need any introduction. I haven't actually I haven't seen the movie yet. Yet. That was 1991. So this is the um, original epic cassette release. I also got the two CD release from from other land records. Well, well, you can't really collect. You can't really not have any James, any John, John Barry, James Bond. Music you've got John Barry albums. Here's from Russia of Love. The EMI cassette release. I think I did get the, the, the CDs when, when they when they redid the uh, the albums a few years back. Now this is his um I think we know that he, uh, John Barry wasn't merely all at home with synthesizers. So, 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 I, so I did get this and the, the, the annoying um, sequencing of putting everything as or it, one of the, as a long suite or, um, or two sorry, of two long suites thanks to this being in, 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 in a time where when when vinyl records is really thing. So I, I might get the um one of the C D issues where where the where the track where the sweets are cut it into into the into their constituent parts. It's a it's a more user friendly experience. But it was actually a good film, unlike this. Now no, 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 this is one that, that I asked my uncle Mickey to buy for me because this is one we're still living in Barbados. But uh, I, I, I don't see the movie, which was one of the dullest movies I've ever seen box office hits. I'm seeing what the hell we, what were we thinking right now? Now this is, you know, just aren't, aren't too bad on that. My pretenders are kind of boring, but I don't mind the stance well and and the extremely long um sweet was welcome. But again, sweets are not really the way I like. I aren't really my preferred way of listening to stuff. And here's something else of his introduction. Somewhere in time, the MCA set. I uh, I did get the uh, um about Lion release. This is of expanded version. Indecent proposals intro in charge score release is now. There's no huge price in a secondary market. So that's what so let's try and guess it someday, I guess. And there is this. <laughs> and look. The version of cassette release. Complete with so complete with, with songs, some from Cherry Bomb and And Thomas Dolby. 
plus several pieces of Bombari's score. The ultimate illusion, and then we read it. The only trouble was like that, that the real Chevalese didn't have the um, Sylvester Leve tracks for it. You see, um, when I, when I saw the film, it, the music I really issued that was, was, was the uh, was ultralight music, which is one of the ones that, 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 that Sylvester Leve had to tweak. So it was great to get that on it and then try the few CD release. You can, you can also find this um, new master. Okay. And then there's this. The, the first massively successful Lone Ranger we've made. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we, we actually saw this when I was a boy at, at the drive in. I didn't mind it, but but I also got the realization. But I saw the film again, again some years ago, and it really is really what excuses me down to. Plus, this this being now unplayable, I'm thankful to to Entrada for um their CD reissue. Which I also bought. And back to James Bond with the Living Daylights. This is alright, I guess. Almost some of my favourite Bond, Bond of his. Has its moments. Um, a view to a kill. This is, this is all right. It's a bit sedate in some of its action and stuff, but it's all right. And no complaints about Duran Duran's song either. But it could have been worse. Meet, meet the Deedles, which has one track of Steve Bartek's score in it. Who, who are those guys? I, I can't remember much about the kind of how I heard this for ages. But the lineups The Mighty Mighty Boss Tones, the Dance World Crashers, Goldfingers. Che Poppin' Daddies, hmm, Hepcat, Gary Hoeing, D Say Ferris, Piggy Tan, Radish, Homie, and Perfect Thyroid, the cover version of the theme from Hawaii Five Zero. This is a I don't really know very much about this, but I assume it has a lot of. 90s guitar stuff in it. No instruction needed, I think. <laughs> this this having this having um two those two two album recordings of or of 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 Yes, no, no, we've got legal eagles on the on EMC cassette. This is the UK release. Uh, see the different way the EMCA logo is presented. Um, this is this is the the most has um Albert Bernstein's music. Oh, I think it was. I think it was probably an a, a, a re recording done in the UK. Okay, okay. 
place up. I think that the actual music heard in the film was recorded in the, in the, in the US. This, this recording here is done by the by the United Kingdom Symphony. And let us you know that this does not contain the moderate performance of Love Touch. Thank you. I know it's true, huh? I suppose, I suppose if it had been created with Rod Stewart, yeah, I'm going to ask him on Warner Brothers. But it does contain that piece, that performance piece that, uh, that Dan Hyland did in the film. Yeah, and what was it called? Put out the fire. And you get, I think you get Stephen Wolf's Magic Carpet Ride as well. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the Rascals, Stephen Wolf, and Dal Hannah, along with the Ella Bernstein. Yeah, it's kind of meh and lovely. Okay. Staying in Ellen Bernstein. We've got my left foot and da. Uh, the pairing of, 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 his, of, his, of two of his Irish themed films. With. My left foot guessing all of side one and the first two tracks on side two, on side two. I, 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 was, I, I did see the film on the plane actually. I haven't seen um, that. That's peering. That's a good mission. And Animal House with um, the newly Emma Brennan's representation being the Faber College theme on which cuts out which and stops around the intro apparently. So that's not very much, I guess in here where it counts. Lots of songs, you know, but it's like it's like a dialogue clips in it, so it's something. But Ambling Rose. Now, now, now I actually saw this in a video when I was thinking about Bailos, so and I see it as uncut. We really had to cut the scene with um with Rose in bed with the boy of the household. <laughs> hmm. It's got a lot of um of, of, of Bernstein period scrolling here. And the only non yes, it's, it's, it's mostly Bernstein, unfortunately. And this is also one of my shorty girl CD. I do like it. And then there's the most entertaining film ever based on the Bible. This is the um the 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 sound the, the tracks are the tracks cassette release of the album the put out of the of the film. Back when it came out. Luckily, I did, did, did also get that huge box that that uh, Enchantedly put out so, of oh, the 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 Ten Commandments set. Okay. Okay. Well, Crocodile Dundee. Um, Silver Screen released this in the UK. I 
actually first heard tracks from this on um, a French shortwave radio station which had a, had, a, had, a, had a movie music selection. I think it was Daily. I think they played one of the, the songs from it, not the actual. Yeah, the mad, bad, and dangerous song. Okay. I think I think we I think we issue this I think we issue this in CD as well. But I'm not I'm not I'm not not we haven't got got the thing yet because uh, very tuneful. The chord blings music for the very, very catchy music for this um um for California Suite. This is the French release on CBS Records. I think I think some music from this was on um his uh, on his um on that collection of of Charles Bonning's music for American movies. That's fine. Roy Bud with one of these two. Thankfully, no, no joint armor trading this time around, thank goodness. This is from this CBS release. It's, it's not as memorable as the first one, obviously. And you'll still get a, a song. Of, Song is it's gonna make up the label on the cover saying so by Peter Hoffman. Yeah, okay, so who's next? Um, yeah. Simon Boswell, who's that movie, Dust Devil. This is another one that I'm not all that familiar with. Why did I I don't think I finished it. And we got the Milan videos of Simon Boswell's hardware. There's part of this collaboration of a um of an, of, a, of an abusive dickhead, as we said. It's enough about that. Uh, okay, then. Oh, now, now, this was um, Miss Broughton's London Me recording of extracts from the score for this film that the side band put out. I think this is the one that um that there's a re-release for from BSX. So I got this because you know because because we wanted to sound check on eighty six. I hadn't got that the um the phone up at the time, obviously. And I still an unused Friday release was still a way off. I got this, this is the um, curb cassette release for also Bruce Bowson <laughs> for, for all I want for Christmas, which has some extracts in the score on side two. Yeah, yeah, the, the score tracks are on side two, with side one having the song. So you've got Stephen Bishop. 
Bob Gary, Lloyd Price, The Coasters, MC Crew, and Santa and Joy. Anyways. Okay, moving on. I'll stick with this browser again. Well, this is, this is a, this is the least in England as the, con as the, con as the concierge. Put her on the, um, on, 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 on a very good big screen records label. Which, we just get to have a mound for the time we lost it. Next time we always put, um, a sort of composer bio in their releases. Sorry. Let me cut on, so let me just make it out. Let me just hold. Wait, you get the gist. Yeah, from here, pictures of the composer and the director. Which don't get you on, on for many scientific labels, especially considering this, especially considering this is a a division of a main, of a major company, so it's so it's giant was part since Big Screen Records was an imprint of Giant, which was part of Warner Brothers, which is a nice looking. Yeah, now this is okay. I have to wonder if anybody actually liked everything on this album because. Because Morgan Creek put this out in their own, on their own label and got lots of, of, of rap to make it more commercial. Like Salt and Pepper, Black Sheep. I can't make out this guy's. Can look at this one. Auto and Cherokee, X Clan, Black Sheep again, and Ultra, Mag and Ultra Magnetic MCs. So I have to wonder, I can't imagine that anybody buying this for the, for, for the Rap Shacks was going to be keen on the, on the two score pieces, Dal's Dad. And stay tuned to the main theme. Especially since uh, well since the rap is, is barely heard in the movie. And doesn't really have much place in it. And if you see and if you see in the movie I mean if you like it, say say it in the comments because I didn't like it very much at all. But I only got a rest because of all the two tracks of score that I want. And I really could have done without all of the stuff before it. I didn't need to, I did, fortunately I didn't need to, to track this down on a CD. Because I didn't try to release the score some years later. Oh thanks, man, I didn't try to. And the movie's thank for me. Okay. Okay, this is the last Bruce Barton here. The, the cassette release from one was from one from one Lizzie records for for in in this down under. But the, you know, the one that came on that one that they issued on C D the songs from the from 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 the rescuers. On it, it would nice, simple packaging. Okay, 
It took a while to, to find this, so it's how to, to, to mix. I was, I was thinking of, 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 of maybe getting the cassette of Silverado on um, from different discom because we could never bought it originally. I couldn't buy it originally, thanks to being my beard at the time. Just to be 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 be, 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 be more complete, the completest, but. I probably won't. I, probably, I think I, what I did was I, I ripped the tracks, the right tracks, to our computer and made a playlist of the of the of, of the of the Giffen album tracks. Okay, here we have um, Jeffy Bergen's music for the other Robin Hood movie from Nine Seven. The one that went oh, straight to TV in the US. Uh, yes, yeah, they got, got, and they got the article, they got actually released in the UK. And other countries. I didn't see it in the cinema. I saw it because somebody, because somebody tipped it off um, Fox, so it was shown there. And the copy was and video clubs for into the, went into his hat. Yeah, it's not it's not very legal, is it? But you know, that's that's so it went to it in the nineteen nineties. Mm. Anyway, Jeffy bought Jeffy Bergen did the music for this sort of subdued retelling of the oh, I didn't really go for it very much, to say the truth. I mean, that's the worst. I think, I think casting it, I think, I think, I think making Uma Thurman look unattractive is, is one of its, one of its numerous crimes, for start. She can be married in this one, this one, but. Okay. Okay, now we're into Carter Burwells we have here. Doc Hollywood. But um pleasant enough, I'm sorry. Didn't think much of the movie, but yeah, pretty cheerful. I, I can't I can't imagine there being a deluxe dish of this scene in the AD. Oh we never know. That's right. And of course there's the Goofy movie, for which, for which um, we had to be in, um, for which Don Davis was brought in to um, tweak his music. That's quite more. Anyway, but my, it's actually good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, and, and the movie wasn't bad either. I think this is still here. Yeah. This probably is. Yeah, yeah, someone should really ought to talk. She really should talk more about this. I was going to say, so tell me, Mr. Beryl, you've, I mean, you've done, um, you scored, um, Psycho 2, um, Psycho 3, sorry. The original about a vampire same movie, and Goofy. I really want to talk about those when you work for the Coen Brothers and Martin McDonald's one. And what all what I want to call the Swains world. I remember not to talk, not to, not, to, not to be reminded about that. Well, oh boy. The, the other is called a Shepherd with this gentleman, that was gentleman. He's, um, I want to call it this music, so we. Really emphasise the, the um, chaotic nature more than James James Warner's music for um, Braveheart did. Mm. It's all right. I think I went to see the movie, but 
don't think I'm going to soak so much. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And then we have. Um, yeah, the, the, this music for this. For Dave Burns True Stories. The original picture score. The first, uh, this case, if you haven't seen the movie, it's basically a film about weird people, about strange people in Texas. I don't, I, I don't recall liking it very much. This is what she's seen to. I mean, I mean, as far as David, as far as, far as David Burns. Film work goes, it's not, it's, not, it's not exactly his contribution to the last emperor, is it? That's alright. And that is the end of this video. video. I asked what to mention. Um, uh, I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video. I'd like to thank um, Ian Clark for some players technical advice in this video, which explains what I think is the right way around. So thanks so much Ian. I'm sure to, I don't know, I'll probably tag you when it's, when it's done. Along with Miss ATs of course, who will be tagging all the cassette videos. Sorry Beth. Okay, I'm going to finish with tea and Finish the rest of the afternoon movie on, uh, excuse me, channel 5. So, ta, take care all of you, and, um, oh, and I, I'm sorry I missed your unboxing last night, Birdman. I was extremely tired. I was up watching another video on YouTube, and I fell asleep. And I saw it was 2, 2 a.m. at my, my, my World Cup. So I wouldn't have been able to have missed it in me, in me. So I'm sorry. Alright. So enjoy your enjoy the records. I mean your CDs along with the records. But enjoy the music. Okay, um ta of you. See you and be good. Bye.